Hello everyone and welcome back to Meadow Grove. Uh, today we've got a little bit of work to do, not too much though. We're just going to do some fertilising and I want to sell a trailer load of silage. So um, it's not going to be probably a long, long video, but it should be pretty good. So literally two jobs to do today. Sell some silage and fertilise a few paddocks. But um, other than that, it's going to be a pretty cruisy day on the farm. We're going to take the Massey. We are going to take the Massey Ferguson. She's almost up to 20 hours on the old girl now. Still runs like a beaut though. But yeah, we just need to sell one load of silage. I just, I need to make a little bit of money. I mean, we have a little bit, but I want to buy a manure spreader, which is nearly 50 grand. So obviously that's nearly all our savings right there if I was to do that. So hence the reason I'm selling a load of silage. Depends on how much money we get for the load as well. If we don't get much, I might sell two. If I get a good price, I might even sell two. I'm not really sure. I just need to... Need to look at the prices. We might actually do that now. Just have a quick look. It's actually going up. It's $315, which isn't too bad even like that. So we might just sell one load. If it still keeps going up, we might sell another. Shouldn't be too bad at all. This is a bit of a tight yard, this one. Don't want to hit that draw bar. Alright. So we'll start off with one grab load here. Might use the steering wheel. Not that I'll be able to see. Yep, that happens in real life too. Hitting the trailer. Pour that into there. Hope everyone's having a good day or night. Hope you guys are enjoying the Meadow Grow videos. I'm definitely loving the farm still. No plans to go anywhere. Onto another map or anything like that. Where everyone's pretty happy here, I think. Let's make sure we're not backing into anything in the mirrors there. It looked okay. So we can hold 21,000 litres or 21 tonne, whatever, however you want to word it, into this trailer. So we'll start off with the full load. I want to get that bit that's on the edge there. But yeah, the manure spread is something that I really, really want and I need, to be honest, I have a bit over 42,000 litres of manure to spread. I also need to get a slurry tanker at some stage as well and then I can stop fertilising, like with just pellets or whatever you want to call them, full stop, I can just start using manure that I, I'm producing anyway. So, something I'm trying to get into. Obviously I still need to keep the spreader for lime, but yeah. Shouldn't take too long to load this trailer. The other plan at some stage is to buy about 10 more cows. Um, and then once I kind of hit the 50 mark, I think I have 43 at the moment, so even seven might do it. And then that'll be the last of the cows I'll probably buy. It'll be only whatever they reproduce. But I just want 50 of them as well. There's a few things I want to need, it's just money, so money is the issue. But not to mention there's plenty of crops growing and plenty of stuff to to make money. But hopefully the price for silage stays how it is. And we can get a really good price for this trailer load. This is meant to be for the cows, this silage, because I've actually only got one silage bale left, but there's like 500,000 litres in that bunker anyway, so 
you know, 21,000 litres or 42,000, depending on if I take two trailer loads, isn't really going to kill it. It's going to last a while anyway. I reckon that trailer's just about full. And she is full. So we'll dump this back into the pit. Action cannot be performed here while it is. It's literally getting performed there now. Alright. Lift that up a bit. I need to attach that, but I want to get in a little bit better position to attach it than right there. Let me just hit that metal rail, but that's okay. Alright, that should be perfect. Back it up a little bit more. Alright. Now we just got to head down to the shop, I think. Was that the barn that it's... No. Oh, it is the barn. Okay, so... Yeah, we're going to head down to the barn. And sell this. We'll just head out this way, try not to hit anything. Probably going to hit that tree, nope, we missed it, luckily. Alright, we'll head down the hill. Yeah, the last silage bale is right there. There she is, that's the last silage bale anyway, so... Nearly through all of them. Soybean paddock there is coming along nicely. We've just planted, yesterday we planted some sugar beets in that paddock there. So that'll be good. Pretty keen to harvest that to be honest actually. Make a right hand turn here. This map's got some very sharp and narrow turns and laneways, but that's all good. The public farm is just there on the left. If that's something you guys would like to, you know, participate in, you're more than welcome to join the Discord and ask for the role, and then you're welcome to join the server and help out on the public farm. Plenty of work to do on that farm. Brandon's farm is just down this road actually. But we won't be going past that. It's about another 400, 500 metres down that road. So if we make a left here, probably going to hit that. Yep. Figured we might. Should be enough room there now. Um, yeah, if we head down here and then we just back fully up, we should be good. Should be good. Alright, right there should be perfect. Hopefully, we get a good price. Hopefully. Six thousand dollars. Wasn't as good as I was hoping, but saving for a bit more, but the price is still going up, so we can still sell another load. But we won't do that just yet. We'll wait for the price to continue to go up, I think. So we'll head back to the farm and we'll start on some fertilising. Probably use the John Deere for that. I believe the spreader has some fertiliser left in it from the other day when I did the sugar beet paddock. I 
I believe. But we will find out, I guess. I hear a dog barking. At least we don't have to go up this hill with the trailer load. The tractors don't seem to like this hill very much at all. Not with a load on it anyway. Might have to put some fuel in the Massey soon as well. It's getting a bit low. But she'll survive. Paddocks are nearly ready for another mow, actually. They're all looking pretty good. Let's squeeze past that. Right, we might just park this here because we're probably gonna Probably going to do another load, to be honest, soon. In the future, anyway. But we will go and grab the John Deere. We just got the one oat paddock, and I think there might be three soybean paddocks to um, fertilise, and then we're pretty much done for the day, really. We just got to sell another load of silage when the price is a little better, because it's going up still. That's all that's really on the the agenda for today. It's got 493 litres left in it. Pretty sure the rest of the fertilizer's down at the other shed. About a couple of k's away. Um, might pay for us to go and get some, I'm thinking. Four hundred and ninety-three litres should be enough for a paddock, I'm thinking though. We're about to find out. Should be enough for this paddock, I'm pretty sure. I guess we will find out. I don't even I think it needs fertilizing, let's just check. Oh, no, this paddock doesn't even need fertilizing. Hundred percent. There's a couple little patches there that aren't, but... I thought when I checked this yesterday, we had some paddocks that needed doing. They could be past the stage of fertilising too. It's alright, we'll keep looking. Sure, there'll be something to fertilize. Let's just check that paddock. Hmm, that paddock's good as well. Now I just feel like maybe I was having a blonde or blind moment yesterday when I looked. I could just look on the map, but I can't be bothered. I'd rather just drive to the paddocks. This is the paddock I definitely checked yesterday that needed fertilizer. Yep, it does need fertilizer, so. We should have enough for this paddock anyway. Alright. Fertilizer away on this one. Yeah, I think we should have plenty of fertilizer just for this paddock. We should be good. So this is the oat paddock. This is the only oat paddock that I've got planted at the moment. The other, that paddock in front of us is soybean. And then we've got the other two paddocks, which are soybean as well. I decided to do a fair bit of soybean this harvest, or this crop. However you want to word it. So, 
yeah, hopefully I get a good quantity out of it and I can make some decent money from it. Hopefully. That's the hope anyway. Frames seem to be kind of low there, I'm not sure what's going on. Now they're back up there. It's kind of hard to see where you've been um, when the crop's getting to an, an established point of growth. This paddock's not too bad, but some of the others are a bit more of a challenge. I reckon one more drive down this other side and we should be good. Definitely enough fertilizer. sure that's all of that. What are we looking at? 100%. There's a little bit there that it's missed, but that's okay. We can handle a little bit of missage. Let's have a quick look, I guess. Uh, growth, fertilized. Uh, we missed a bit of a strip actually up through there. It's not too bad. I mean, we've only got 100 litres left. We could always just hit it. I guess. I reckon that's it there. So we'll give that a quick smack with the fur. It's all looking to be done to me. So only one paddock to fertilise, but that's okay. Means we're going to have a bit of a cruisier day than I had actually thought we were. So that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll head back up to the shed. I don't think the spreader needs washing, so we'll just put it back in the shed. I'll leave that. 73 litres of fertiliser in there because that's not really much. Not really much at all. I will show you guys the, uh, the manure spreader though that I do want to buy. We just need to make a little bit more money so that I can feel a bit more comfortable buying it because I don't like having no money but this is the one that I'm thinking about buying this one here 49 grand it's not a bad looking trailer so that's kind of what I'm planning on buying I also need to buy a slurry tanker so I'm currently thinking about buying this one here. That's kind of the one that's on my list to buy as well. So that's 14 grand. So, you know, it's 59. That's about 63, $64,000 all up with the two trailers. So it doesn't really leave much up here in the bank. So hence the reason why I want to make a bit more money. And while the price, see, it's already gone up. It was 315 when we went and sold that last load. So... I'm just going to continue to wait for that to go up, but um, yeah. That is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.